Your persuasive speech is your final speech and half of your final exam grade. So choosing a topic you can not only live with, but also get excited about is important. Just as I told you with choosing your informative topic, choosing a good persuasive topic is often the result of opening your eyes and ears to the world around you. There are things and people who are seeking to influence us every day. If you don't believe me, notice how many advertisements creep into your life in the next 24 hours. On TV, on the radio, on the internet, on billboards, through individuals, and the list goes on. Persuasion is all around you. So let's talk about criteria you need to use when choosing your persuasive speech topic and how you will seek to persuade the class on a topic or issue. Number one, your chosen topic must be current or contemporary. Number two, your chosen topic must be a topic that directly applies to your audience or that you can use to make a strong connection to your audience. It's got to be all about the audience with persuasion. Number three, your chosen topic must be a topic that is shockingly informative or is somewhat controversial. In other words, if everybody already knows about the topic you're trying to persuade us with, or everyone already, already agrees with what you're saying, that leaves no room for actual persuasion. Your talk is pointless because everyone is already on your side. Sometimes I call this the so what test. Make sure you have an answer to that question when you give me your topic. Why are you doing this topic? Do people already agree with you? How are you going to persuade? Number four, your chosen topic must seek to change your audience's actions and not just their minds. It's great to change an audience's opinions, but the specific criteria for this speech is that you need to seek to change the audience's actions. This is key when choosing your topic. Number five, your chosen topic must highlight a problem or a need. If there really isn't a problem that needs to be solved, you don't have a good persuasive speech topic. There must be a need or a problem. Number six, your chosen topic must have a solution to the problem, and the solution must be something that your audience can leave the classroom and actually do. In other words, your speech needs to provide action steps for your audience. If not, you have not met the criteria for this particular assignment. As I've told you before, I've heard literally thousands of speeches over the years, and there are definitely types of topics that don't work well for this assignment. They include topics like these, uh, safe sex or obesity or dangers of tanning beds. Now, your audience has heard these types of topics millions of times, and unless you have new or shocking information, it just ends up being repetitive information that they've already heard, and therefore your audience is probably apt to tune you out. Other types of topics that don't work, things like death penalty or abortion. Now your audience has already made up their minds on topics like these because these issues are deeply rooted in a person's morals and ethics, which makes actual persuasion next to impossible. You're not going to change somebody's deeply rooted opinion on death penalty or abortion. Plus, what can your audience actually do about these topics? Nothing absolutely nothing other than change their minds, which, like we said, is next to impossible. And remember, this speech assignment requires you to seek to change an audience's actions, so obviously these topics won't work. Other types of topics that don't work include things like, you should play more video games. Now, anything that does not highlight a problem or a need will not persuade your audience that they should take action. Is there a major societal problem that results from people not playing video games? No, so your topic is kind of pointless. Make sure there's a need or a problem that needs to be solved. Next, topics like Ford is better than Chevy. Basically, any topic that is opinion-based or comparison-based will not work for this speech. This is a researched speech, and topics that are opinion-based or based on preferences won't work. Next, topics like steroids or animal abuse. Now, with these type of topics, persuasion can't happen because probably everybody already agrees with you. I don't know anyone who would say, yes, steroids are good for you, or yes, you should definitely abuse animals. Even if people do these things, almost everybody agrees they're wrong. Instead, choose topics that are a little more controversial, not those that everybody already agrees with you about. And finally, topics like choosing to adapt internationally or cosmetic surgery or legalizing marijuana. Now, although, although these are great persuasive topics, they don't apply currently to your audience of high school students. 
there's little that the, that your actual audience can do in response to a speech on these topics because most, if not all, um, are not ready to be parents and most, if not all, of your audience is not in a position to get cosmetic surgeries. Keep in mind, however, that you could make certain topics apply to your audience through making a connection to their future and or to their loved ones, but it would be very difficult to do uh, to do this in a way that seeks to change your audience's actions. Now, below are some types of topics that could work for your persuasive speech. All of these are topics I've heard work well in the past or are topics inspired by recent news. Notice how each starts with a problem or need and each could have specific action steps for your audience. Although some of these topics might not seem like real problems or might seem pointless to you now, it's probably because you haven't done the research that the speakers of these topics did in order to inform and persuade their audiences. Remember, you don't want to choose something that everybody already knows about. Choosing a topic that opens people's eyes to an issue is a great way to go when seeking to persuade because your audience is less apt to tune your message out. I just provided for you is not a list to choose a topic from. Again, your topic choice should come from your own interests, experiences, and research, and not necessarily from a list I've provided or from a random list that you look up online. Keep in mind that there are different types of persuasion. There's persuasion that tries to change your attitude, persuasion that tries to change your opinion, your beliefs, or your actions. Many topic searches online deal only with changing minds and not actions. They are better defined as debate topics rather than persuasive speech topics. So they probably won't work for this speech. Make sure that you seek to change actions. Another word of warning when choosing your persuasive speech topic is this. Your speech must follow Monroe's motivated sequence to even come close to earning a decent grade. This is something that we'll learn more about later, but if you do not choose a topic that has a serious need or problem and an actual non-obvious action step that you can provide to your audience, you will have a difficult time with this assignment. Watch the video on Monroe's motivated sequence for more specific information on what all this entails. Good luck as you begin to work on your final exam. You're almost to the finish line. Make sure you run through it and not just up to it. Finish well and good luck.